it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to my already subscribed viewers. And if you'd like to be notified of when I post a new video, please subscribe and also click on the notification button. So today I have a Dollarama haul to share with you. I have a lot of videos to film today, including other haul videos and some DIYs. So let's get to it. I went to Dollarama. This is over a week ago. I'm sorry for the delay. I have, I still have that backlog of videos to shoot and other videos. So I'm trying to catch up every single day. I got a non-stick fluted tube cake pan from Betty Crocker. Non-stick fluted cake pan. I thought it was time for me to upgrade my my pan from the one that I've been using for years. The one I've been using for years is an older one uh, from um, aluminum and I always have to grease it and yeah so I just okay it's time to make my life easier and just get a non-stick one. So this is four dollars at Dollarama and it's really it's a nice piece so I'm happy to have found that. Another uh, large piece that I found at Dollarama is this flower pot stand plant all it's it's clear plastic it's very looks very tough it's got good wheels and these are also four dollars it says it measures uh 10 inches i think i think it's got a diameter of 10.2 inches and uh yeah, so it has a diameter of 10.2 inches. It's got some nice casters here. And the reason I purchased this is I thought that this would make a good system for my studio. So I could put the basket, I have a basket of rolls of paper and I would, my intention is to put it on this and place it on the floor and that way I can roll that basket around because I know that basket's gonna get heavy eventually. Let me show you what I, I mean. So here's just a wire basket um, that I picked up at another dollar store. This, These are sold mostly to be used as trash bins but I am using it, I, I, I like the, the shape, how it kind of is wider at the top than the bottom. It's great for holding rolls of paper in here I have decorative paper, some wrapping paper, um, shelf liner, contact paper, different kinds of things that I will use in my studio for crafting. And I just thought, it, it's it's light enough now, but I just thought that perhaps I could put it on this and I could wheel it around my studio so when it gets in the way, um, when, you know, the few times that I do clean the floor in this studio, <laughs> It'll be easier just to move this around. Plus, if I do uh, get the floor wet, then my papers will stay dry. So, yeah, so far this is how it's working. <laughs> the, the wheels are super smooth, really. And I'm also thinking now that that might be a good way to move things around, period. Just put things on top of that little saucer. And as long as they're not too, too heavy, but substantial. It's got, it can take weight. Um, another thing I found, and I was pretty happy to find this, it's also by Betty Crocker. It's a toaster oven baking pan. So it's made just to fit inside toaster ovens. And it's a non-stick. It is $3.50. And I do have a toaster oven in my studio that I use for baking clay and all sorts of non-food items. And I was in need of one of these little trays, but they're not easy to find. So I have a glass one and because my toaster oven didn't come with a, tr a little tray. So I've been making do with, you know, a, a glass thing and just aluminum foil. Uh, but this will be really handy. So I'm happy to have found that. A new item at Dollarama. Uh, I was so excited to see this and I couldn't wait to show you, but other people have seen it too and they've hauled it and they've shown it. I've just been delayed. I got this speech bubble light box. It is, this is what it looks like on the back and I'll try to open it for you. These are also $4, uh, like the other light boxes that 
are available at Dollarama. However, it is in the shape of a speech bubble. And it comes with a, a marker, I guess it's a dry erase marker. So I just thought this is really cute and it can just, you know, sit on a desk with that or, you know, shelf. And you can just write messages on here. So I just thought that's a fun little light box to have. Now, another nifty item that I picked up is this Duro Lounger Universal Adjustable Neck Mount. That's a mouthful. And what this doodad is, I don't know if you can tell from the box, you have to really pay attention to this one. Um, it is for holding your, your phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, so you can, they show here people just relaxing and watching, you know, like a, a YouTube video uh, while they are lounging on the couch and, you know, they, like this. And also they show someone here using it for vlogging, uh, if you're on a long flight and you, you know, so your arms don't get tired. And I've been testing it. So this is mine. I took it out of the box. When it's in the box, it's all folded up. And in here, it's it's basically a metal tubing. And this thing is where you put your iPhone, this part here. And it's actually very nice to use. It's easy. It opens and closes very nicely. And there's padding on this side. And you just can put it around your neck like this. And I can put my my iPhone here, let's say, so I can film video and my arms, you know, my hands stay free, which is something that I have to deal with because often I have to go to a show or something and I have to film video and take pictures. And let me tell you, after doing that for a few hours, my arms do get tired and it's, it's hard to, you know, I, I have to hold the camera and I, I might have to hold an umbrella if I'm outside and it's raining or I have to show my, uh, I have to show my pass, my credentials to get in and out of places. And I'm trying to hold the camera and maybe hold a bag. It's just, you know, I only have two hands. So uh, I just thought that for that purpose for me, so when I have to go around uh, shooting videos, that that might, you know, be good. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look like a total tourist, but um, it might get the job done. So $4, you get that. I'm not too sure that I would want to just watch videos on this. Uh, I find it's a little too close for comfort. I would prefer to have it further away from me for that purpose. Or I am I tried using it to film myself talking and really, ooh, it's a little too close for me. <laughs> You'd see too many details. So uh, yeah, so this is $4. Might be something that you're interested in. Another item, I had seen the larger frames being hauled and I had seen them at the store, but then I saw this one. I, I like the size of this one. It's a wall plaque with all the sequins in it. And these are $2.50. And I chose this one that says, throw kindness around like confetti. I just think that's a really lovely set saying and it yeah, it is full of not confetti, but sequins, but I just thought that was a very nice thing to throw and throw kindness around like confetti. I think that would make a big difference in this world if we did, if everyone did that once in a while. So, uh, yeah. And I got another $4 item were these string lights. I just thought these are cute. They are these metal balls that have some cuts in them some details and they do light up See that? you have 10 of these LED string lights with these metal balls they had them in this white they had them in silver gold I think there were was black I might be missed I can't remember for sure now but uh, I was like oh these might be fun they definitely would look great at Christmas time on a Christmas tree of any time of year and I just couldn't decide which one I wanted so I took the white because I figured well that goes with everything and 
if I decide I want to color, I could always spray paint the little metal balls. So, yeah, so I got that. Not that we you eat lobster uh, very often, but <laughs> they had these seafood cracker tools by Rama Design. So this is the thing at Majigi that you can use to, you know, break the the shell around shellfish and lobsters and well, that's a shellfish. Uh, so I saw that and I was like, it's like a net cracker for shellfish, basically. And uh, they look pretty sturdy. They look very, they look strong. And I thought I would we would give we would give these a try. And these are three dollars and fifty cents a piece. I bought two just to try them out, but uh, we have yet to have the time to go find some lobster and uh, cook lobster. But I just thought that might be uh, handy to have for the once in a while time that we do eat lobster at home. <laughs> I picked up some of this metallic glass gravel. I just liked the colors. I thought these are colors I could use in some projects. And they had so many different ones. I took the gold. You get this jar for $2. It's, it's a nice weight. And does it say, no, it doesn't say what how much there is in here, but there's definitely a pound at least of gravel in here. And I also got the silver one. So they're glass gravel in metallic colors. Picked up two of these baskets. I needed some baskets to organize some things in some drawers in my studio. And I wanted them to have very, you know, flat sides. I didn't want them to go out like this too. It would be more space efficient and they would take less space in each drawer. And these are two dollars a piece and they're pretty stuck together now so I'll have to uh yeah whack them apart. And yeah two dollars a piece and I got two because that's what I needed. Got some of these wooden dowels. They are 12 inches long. They are the three sixteenths an inch diameter. There are 20 pieces in here of these wooden dowels and they are $1.25. Again, this is just to have in my stash for any kind of project I may want to use a kind of dowel for. I have some smaller dowels or shorter, but I got this one package so I would have longer ones in case the other ones are too short. So I bought these two things of rope. There was a label, but um, they fell off. So I think these are like a dollar fifty or two dollars, and I can't remember how much there is on here. But it's the jute cord, and this one is pretty thick. And this was a dollarama that I don't go to very often. Uh, I found the big ball here or bale of jute cord and these are four dollars i'll show you it's a little thinner it's not the the skinny skinny stuff but it's a, it's thinner than this stuff and so i have not seen this at a, a dollarama closer to me i had to go to a I had to happen to be by a different Dollarama in a different area and I went in and I saw these and I know a viewer uh, mentioned these to me once and uh, I said I hadn't seen those so thank you for letting me giving me the heads up on that and I think that you're the same person who told me about the clay uh, so thank you very much for that and um, yeah so I got this and the idea for having this much cord is because I need to, well, I want to repair uh, Kitty's <laughs> scratching post, and it's a scratching post that is made with cord. And it's just like she's had it for years, and it's really, she's really like killed it. So I just thought I would wrap some new cording around it. So I got this. I hope I'll have enough. Up. Oh, look, oh, oh. wait. I found the jute rope labeling so it's a dollar 25 this rope and you get you get you get you get four meters or 13 feet so a dollar 25 of this stuff and 
I got this big sheet of rhinestone stickers. You get a lot of rhinestones on here. And you get this whole sheet for $3. But you get a lot, a lot, a lot, lot of rhinestone. And one tip I wanted to give you is that I, when I'm not sure which color I shall buy, I just buy clear. And I have done this over the years is colored individual rhinestones with permanent ink markers like Sharpies and or even the dollar store brand of permanent ink markers and turn them into any color I needed. And because they're on a sheet like this, it makes them even easier to color. So yeah, that's a little tip for you. Uh, you could save some money by buying just the clear and using your markers or alcohol inks in the little bottles there uh, to alter the colors. And that you can match it to any of all your any and all your projects. I also saw these glitter sheets. This is not something I've seen before. I got one in silver because these are the colors I would use the most in my projects. I got one in silver and one in this. I was hoping it was a lighter pink, but it's more purpley. So hopefully I'll use this too. And these are $1.25. They measure about six inches. Yeah, they're 8.2 by 5.8 inches. And they're adhesive, so you can cut them and they're just all glittery. So that's what I got. I got a little package of these labels. I have purchased these before, but I do like using them. They're just little labels. They're fun to use in uh, planners and scrapbooks. They're just, and they're even fun for labeling things. So, got that. I finally saw the rolls of paper tape. Of course, this was a dollar ramble. Like I said, that's not close to me. It was just, I happened to be in that area. So, I was there. And these little paper tape rolls are $1.25. And they're very, very similar to washi tape, just a little bit thicker. Paper, they're more paper than, uh, well, washi is supposed to be a paper, but a very terrible paper. Terrible, not terrible, terrible paper. Uh, and these are just a little bit thicker, but they're, they're great. And the gesso. I found the gesso at a Dollarama. Uh, not that I needed to buy it, but I did <laughs> uh, because I like the size of the jar. So these are $3 uh, for these jars of a gesso, which are 250 milliliters or 8.4 fluid ounces, or basically it's a cup of gesso. You get it for $3. And I think I get a better value because I buy gesso by the gallon, by this huge bucket from uh, the art supply store. But I like to put gesso, the gesso into a smaller jar to have in my studio. I don't wanna have the big thing, the big tub in my studio all the time. So this will be great because when it's, this will be empty, I'll just refill it from my bucket. And But I do use a lot of gesso when I'm doing um, art and mixed media. And for those of you who don't know what gesso is, it's gesso with a G, G-E-S-S-O. It is basically a primer for canvas. So artists use this mainly to prime raw canvas before painting. Now, if you buy an already primed canvas, which uh, they sell at the dollar stores. You don't need to prime it with this, but this is also good to have in your stash if you like to upcycle other materials. Like if you want to upcycle cereal boxes, the cardboard of cereal boxes, you can use this as the primer to cover the, um, you know, the the advertising or the, you know, the name brand on the cardboard box of cereal, let's say. And then you have a white canvas ready for you to create another project. Also, when you goof up on a project, although I don't think there are any mistakes in art making, they are just creative opportunities, you can, uh, cover up 
whatever surface you were working on and start over with a brand new canvas just by using this primer. It is a very thick type of white paint, uh, very much like we would use a primer when we are painting in our homes, except this is much, uh, much thicker than that and it is uh, safe to use. It is archival safe etc etc so yeah so even if you find like an old painting at a garage sale you know someone did a painting on the canvas and you're just thinking this is a great size canvas but it has an ugly painting on it you can cover it up with this so there you go you get your brand new canvas so 350 for that Three dollars, sorry, three dollars for this little jar of gesso. And finally, I have some little Halloween treat bags. Uh, these come in a set of 80 and they're different. These are the designs that come in this package and in this one too. They're just all different. And I got these for our trick-or-treaters because we never know from year to year how many how, how many or how few trick-or-treaters we will get <laughs> i will have little loot bags for the treats oh and last lastly for real is a clear storage box you know i love these boxes these are the kiss brand three dollars and fifty cents for these clear bins this was the last one on the shelf with a white lid and i thought oh Okay, well, I usually like the clear ones, but this is all they had left on the shelf. So I asked if they had any more of these, since usually they have more on the shelves. And they said, oh yes, we got a shipment. We just haven't had time to put it out there. And one of the, the staff takes the brings the entire box to the cash at the store. <laughs> because she didn't know how many boxes I wanted. So then I saw the case and I, and I was like, well, how many are in there? And they, they look and they said, well, there's 16. And I said, hmm, you know what? I'm buying all 16. Save me a trip because I keep going back and forth to the dollar store, buying them two, three at a time. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use them. I know I'm going to find a use for all 16 boxes because I have so many things I want to clean and organize in my house. Yeah. Save me, a, save me the gas and the time. I'm taking this baby home today. So I bought all 16 boxes, so a case of these clear bins. Just to let you know, it is possible to buy things by the case at Dollarama. <laughs> so uh, I hope you were entertained by this and you got some great ideas, uh, or at least some ideas. Um, thanks again for uh, supporting this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I would really appreciate a like, a thumbs up. Would be great if you like this video. Please uh, leave me comments. Sharing is caring and stay crafty because I'll see you after the next video. Bye.